What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with all the news after week two of the preseason in year number four. The Crusaders got a loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Our offense was struggling, uh, but more importantly, our defense was struggling. We could not stay on the field on offense at all, and the Steelers controlled the clock for the entire game, making it very, very difficult to kind of get a reading on any of our younger players. Uh, I feel like we didn't ever get into rhythm offensively. Um, so one thing we're going to do, we only have two preseason games left, guys. Um, and, you know, I still want to see a lot of these younger guys get some more time. We definitely need to get our young wide receiver, Mendenhall, um, some time. I have yet to do that, unfortunately. I've been trying to, and it just hasn't happened. Um, so we need to get him more time. Uh, no, I'm not doing quarterback. The other thing that we need to do is look at our rookie quarterbacks, or our two young quarterbacks between Everett and um, Mar Marosa. Uh, it's going to be important to find out which one of those makes the roster. I doubt I'm going to have room to sign both of them uh, to keep both of them on the roster moving forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start Tremaine Small over these next two games, give him some time with the starters, and then I'm going to play Mar Marosa uh, the remaining three quarters, and then the next game I will play J.D. Everett the remaining three quarters. And we'll kind of get a feel as to what we like more. If we look at the stats here, we can check this out. Short throw accuracy goes to J.D. Everett. Medium throw accuracy goes to J.D. Everett. And deep throw accuracy. That's something to keep an eye on. Uh, Mar Marosa has played very, very well, though. He did have a fumble last game, but he's doing a really good job at breaking tackles, which is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of hard to bring him down, so his awareness is way down there. Um, but, you know, it's just going to take some time. These, these are our third-string quarterbacks anyway, so it's not like... Some huge, huge thing. Uh, Tremaine Small still has that on lock until we, we decide what to do with that. Um, but for now, we're, we're pretty solid there. Um, again, yeah, let's go back over here, actually. Because I want to get... I want to get the rookie wide receiver some time. I want to see what he can do. I don't think he's gotten an offensive snap yet. Um, so we're going to replace... Let's see... I want to put Stevenson at tight end for this game. I want to see Chase cross some, too. Um, so I'll put Moore down there for now. We know what Moore is going to give us. And we'll roll through with this lineup and kind of see what these guys can do. I was really, really impressed with Chauncey Green at tight end, actually. Uh, our rookie fullback. He had a pretty solid game last week. You know, he was doing a good job. He made a tough catch, if I remember correctly. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. Um, we do need to go to develop some players here. And what is, should I go with? The weird thing is we don't have a whole lot of uh, young guys with great development traits this year. I mean, we still have Golden and Keiston Mack, obviously, but they're already in their 90s. I don't need to worry about them quite as much at this point. Um but Gibson, getting him some more experience, I am most certainly down for. We can also work on Okafor some. You know, Okafor is going to have a huge role this year. I'm not quite sure that he is ready for it yet. Uh, Mallet also had a sack. Mallet's been looking okay in the preseason, I'm not going to lie. So let's go ahead and develop them both, see who's getting more XP. And that would be Mallet. Mallet actually got a little bit more XP there. We'll develop them both again because I need help at strong safety. And usually the backup safeties are going to get their playing time done anyway. Um, so let's do this. And once again, Mallet getting a little bit more. Okay, very interesting. Uh, we have enough for one more here. And maybe we should go with our corner, our young cornerback. I don't think he had a good development trade if I remember correct. Oh, no. I did not mean to do that. Oh, well, that's fine. We can give Prince Mukamara some more points. <laughs> that was a mistake. I meant to give it to the young guy, and I just hit the wrong button. But that's fine. No worries. Uh, we do have to make some cuts here, so let's do that. Uh, I think, actually, yeah, we only have to cut one player. Uh, next week, we're going to have to cut quite a few. Um, so, I'm not, uh, I don't know who I want to cut yet. That's the issue. I don't know who I would like to cut yet. Um... I know people are saying to cut our Monty Edwards, but look at that. Look at that college. Look at that college. Y'all don't know me at all if you want me to cut our Monty Edwards. Uh, he had that three touchdown game for us. That was awesome. <laughs> I love our Monty Edwards, man. Don't make me do that. Uh, let's see what else we have here. <clears throat> Might be. Yeah, we got. Oh, we got Hammonds. Two of them. A brother from another mother. 
Um, obviously, let's go ahead and cut the second year one and uh, give the younger guy the chance. Now, we're going to take a small little penalty there. Nothing bad. And we'll move forward uh, with this lineup and kind of see how this is going to work. Somebody said to make a trade as soon as possible because the trades are going to be there all year. That doesn't make sense at all. If the trades are going to be there all year, why would I not wait to see what these draft picks are uh, are looking to be before I make that trade? Nah, I mean, makes more sense to kind of hold on to them that way. Um, so I'm excited, though. I'm excited. We have another tough game coming up against the team we beat in the AFC Championship game. You know they want some revenge on us. It's going to be a good game. We played them twice last year. We beat them both times. Tremaine Small actually led the comeback in our first game against them. And then in the playoffs, we got the victory to go to the Super Bowl. So I'm excited about this rematch, guys. It's going to be a good game. We can kind of see how their team has changed. You know, we know the Ravens are a team that we are going to be competing with um, in the AFC to, to make the Super Bowl. We, we know they're going to be there. Uh, so kind of checking out their rookies, their offseason moves, could play a huge role throughout the rest of this franchise, guys. Hopefully they didn't restock too well. Uh, you know, we didn't have the best of offseasons. I'm hoping they didn't either, but... We will find out shortly, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It helps me out a whole lot. And I will see you guys in the week number three of the preseason as we have our rematch against the Ravens. Later.